this is what we're trying to fix. I'm not even sure how that happened. Probably I didn't put it in right. Holy God. Oh. Got some work to do. Oh, oh no, that's broken. Oh man, I'll repair that up. Okay. I thought I dropped something. All right. So what we got here? What do we got going on here? Why won't? No way. Okay, so those are. Alright. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I also purchased from my wife's bike and my bike. There's a. Um, I guess it's a, some sort of relay or an, an intermitter device that flashes your brake light when you apply uh, the brakes so i'm going to install it i might as well i got i got this far that won't happen tonight though that that'll be a project tomorrow or the next day once i once i get further along and then i've taken this up the seat up and i just noticed here Bring it around so you can see. I've noticed there, there's a there's a crack in my fairing. So I'm gonna take that off, bring it inside, clean it up, glue it. Hopefully, that fixes that. It's starting to become a can of worms. This thing today. Like I said, should have got on this a little sooner. Maybe I had some other projects I was doing, but oh well, you probably can't see too much too close there yeah, bring you around over there how's that oh easy now so there you go take this one off take it in oh yeah clean it up repair it get it ready not and take all that exhaust in Let's see what happens there with that this one's okay, but why not? <laughs> I'm, I'm here now, so let's just let's just make it happen. Take it in. I got the rubbing compound. I'll give them a nice once over. Clean them up. Shine them up. Looks in there. Oh well. I'll take a look. This is all gonna entail. I don't know how the heck that just popped out, but it did. It did. So I'm thinking I can jam that relay. I think I'm gonna put that relay. <coughs> Sorry, I'm not looking at you. So I think I'm going to put that relay somewhere in here because it's, there's a quick connect here for the lights like there should be like in the modern age of, of lighting systems. I just want to make sure which end is it coming out. There you go. Okay, neat. So I'm going to take a look at the instructions, see where I have to put this thing, and clean it up. I might be doing that tomorrow because this wire goes in there. So that's three wires. Maybe splice it in, splice it into here. I'll see what the like I said. I'll see what the instructions say. 
and then uh, give, it, give it a whirl. I'm probably going to peel back this wire, cut the wires, solder it in to here um, so that I can still use this uh, quick connector. That way, if it doesn't work, I can just cut it, resolder it, like, eat, shrink it, and, uh, and be good to go. So there you are. Yeah, see, now that I'm looking at this, <coughs> trying to trying to just paint this section here that's a whole piece of the subframe I mean <laughs> yeah I'm not gonna get that crazy there's wires and stuff I'd have to pull everything off well, maybe not actually nothing's attached to the frame itself I would really just need to pull the basket off separate this I said is that is that really what I want to do get into that mess what the heck? oh that's a rake right because that's uh <laughs> there's nothing else really hold oh yeah that holds the exhaust and everything on yeah I'm okay <laughs> I'm okay without uh, out doing that but I like the foot peg idea. I'm pretty sold on that. All right, so I'm gonna put the bolts back, back in. Actually, I'm just gonna leave them there. Uh, they're not gonna, they're not gonna blow it away anywhere. Take my key with me. I'll make sure I don't get that in the bike. I'm gonna take these pieces in here. So this is, this is what we're left with. So I haven't been out here very long. I peeled all that apart so we'll see how it goes I don't think that relay needs to be super protected but I'll still do a good job I'll try to make it tidy as possible all right, I'm pretty pretty impressed with that put the seat back on I'll pack on my tools and uh, there we go so we'll pick this up again once I get some more things go on the go um there's been many parts to this video series or this video it's over quite a few days but i don't want to make it all these separate videos so um just for you for, for you and for me just uh be the most time efficient so because i appreciate when you guys uh everybody that watches me all right so we're gonna end it here and pick it up later have a good night bye Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, today's episode is brought to you by the rain. It's starting to spit, so I'm going to be really quick and get this done and over with. So essentially what happened yesterday is we uh, we took the exhaust cans off in preparation to get the to get the bike ready. Uh, I was taking a look at the O2 sensor there. I haven't removed it, but what I actually ended up doing was doing some plastic repair. So I noticed that one of the the side panels here this this was cracked so I glued it sorry let me show you the one that was actually cracked here this one this one was cracked here so I put some super glue on it and touched that up and, and yesterday if you remember I noticed that the, oh, damn it. the tail light was uh, was not sitting correctly in, in the mount so I took it out and then I thought you know what let's just do it anyway so what I bought was uh, I was talking about an interrupter yesterday, so when I touch my brake lights, the brake light flashes like a race car. It doesn't make you go faster. It doesn't make the bike handle better, but it, it makes you flash. So it's a visibility safety thing. So I have installed it. What I did was I cut the wire here, pulled the lining back, uh, put the in, the out, and then it comes with uh, two-sided tape, and I just two-sided taped it in there and it looks clean i didn't film that it was just a quick solder job i wasn't gonna bore anybody with that but we're gonna throw it back on hook up the battery and see if it works so i'm excited you probably can't even see what i'm doing here sorry there you go okay so we're in a race to beat the rain today or at least this morning with this if it works, then I got another one that I was going to put on my wife's bike. So, with any luck, we'll get it all done. Eventually. So, where do we go here? Just 
plugs into this just like this. Uh, or just like this. Okay. My goodness. Oh, so I just give you a little preview. That's what it looks like, all snug in there. So you can see, you can still see the little adapter. It's not touching anything. All the bolt holes line up nicely. It's a nice clean look now. So let's give it a shot. I'm just gonna hook up the battery. And before I get putting bolts on it, we'll see if it actually works. Here, so I have to look at my manual and you put it on the brake light, brake switch light. And on Triumph, that's the green, the green wire. So it's green and ground, and the yellow wire is a constant wire for the running lights. So here we go, here's a moment of truth. No, I got brake light. Oh, there we go. Huh. There we go, it works. And it's weird that the rear brake switch doesn't illuminate the light, but the front brake does. I might have to go back. So the front brake switch works, but not the rear. So maybe I didn't read the schematic correctly. So I'm gonna go back inside and take a look at that and figure out what the heck is uh, going on with that. Um, I do have some stuff unhooked, so I might have to trace some wires, but not necessarily a huge thing. So with that being said, back to the drawing board for this and we'll figure that out it's got to be a wire or something anyway so that's good we're halfway there I'm gonna leave everybody off now it was a short little segment until next time until the next update have fun and keep between the ditches bye Okay, hey, hi everybody. So I went in, I looked at the schematic and I was like, what can be wrong? My horn works, all the turn signals work. I'm pretty darn sure my brake switch was working prior to this installation. So I'm gonna ha, I'm gonna ha. And I come back out and I take a look and now you're going inverted. Under there, you see the, there's a spring right here. Sorry, right here, it was disconnected. Yep, it was disconnected, a simple thing. So, here's the big unveil. All right, lights are on, awesome. Check that out, whoa, and we're golden. So it was just a simple thing. So I'm just gonna put the panels back on, put the seat back on loosely and move on to my wife's bike, take her rear tail light off, wire it up and put it back on. So that's what we're gonna do if it stopped spitting. So if the rain holds out, I'm gonna prep the, the passenger peg foot mounts, I guess, peg mounts, whatever they're actually called. The pieces we removed the other day, yesterday. Prep those, paint them up, and then there's another look at the, the rad guard. So, it's grown on me. I don't know if it's grown on you guys, but it's grown on me. But anyway, 
so i'll bring you back when i'm doing something new to the bike anyway until then take care bye so we've moved about six feet from where we last were and i'm just looking at my wife's bike right now and we're gonna we're gonna see what's going on here so It might be easier to do it here, then I don't have to remove the seat, which would be a bonus. Okay, so that's, that looks good. <laughs> yep, now I'm gonna have to remove the actual. It's probably going to be easier to because that looking at it that is all fed through through there I mean hold on like it doesn't seem why would I have to remove the whole mount Not that I'm trying to be lazy, folks, but good lord. It's... I'm running light turn signals, whatever. This one here is the one that I'm interested in. Well, boost the ground, brake light. Like, I could please your name. I think so I figured it out folks hi <laughs> so this is the uh, this is our tail light here so instead of removing everything I'll keep the once the rain stops again here I will bring everybody back I'm just gonna bring my soldering kit out here break these wires peel this back solder the interrupter in there and just tuck it down tuck it down into there like it's quite long so I can even I don't think I have to worry too much about anything getting squished. Even if I put it on the other side, the wires are thin. They're not gonna, they're not gonna bind. Like I can, I can tuck it down. I can, I can make that work here. I think it would be cleaner back in here, but that seems like that's a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a gerb. Oh well. Who's scared of a little hard work, eh? I think it'd be cleaner back in there, but I don't know if there what room is back in there. Anyway, I'm rambling. I got to get going. This camera's gonna get soaked. I'll think of a plan. I'll come up with an idea. All right. Till later. Bye. Hey everybody, welcome back to the living room. So just to bring everybody up to speed and what happened. So I moved everything back in. I grabbed my wife's tail light from her bike. Now, Yamaha has a different setup. It wasn't as easy to get to. Oh, same, same, but different. So I took the whole mount off. This wire here goes up through under the seat and it's held on by a bunch of tabs. I'll bring it out when I install it and show you what I mean, if you've never done that before. Um, skill level is probably like one wrench out of five. Um, this wasn't difficult to do. You just have to do some tracing and pull apart the connection. So not too bad. Um, because of the magic of cinema and time-lapse photography, I've already installed the interrupter or the strobe flasher thing on here. I tied it in now on Yamaha. The uh, yellow wire is the 
to do brake light and the blue wire is constant so that's that this is the only difference black on this is ground so uh, i took it off you can try and finagle i don't know if you can see in here i'm not going to take the lens off for you but you can try and finagle if you want to wire it in there but you can't really get to the wires that way um you have to take the backing off or the white part off through the back so you got to take the back off anyway or the only other option that i see is that you actually wire the interrupter or the strobe on this end under the seat and then you're leaving it exposed much more to the elements and to the conditions so in a minute i forgot to add some tape i'm just going to finish the tape job on this and then i'll take you outside hopefully i have a window of no rain because it's been off and on and there's no real predicting it so we'll put this up and we'll uh, test it out and make sure it works anyway we'll uh, catch in a few so one more thing while you're putting it back together so I put these these bolts on right to just be cautious um, this rubber actually goes in and then you bolt it in um, judging by the uh, the lip so I'm gonna have to take those three screws out Put the rubber in, screw it down, and we should be all set, and then we'll be outside. All right. Okay. Hi, everybody. So there's a break in the weather. Stopped raining for a few minutes. So I'm rolling the dice. So I came out here, got the headlight. Good, or sorry, got the tail light. I got it hooked up. So we're going to do the big reveal. Three, two, one. Whoa. It works. Rear brake. Ah, success! Front brake. Oh yeah, that is great. Okay, so my bike has it. My wife's bike has it. I'm gonna put the tail light back on, mount it up, cover it up. But essentially, that's it. Um, I'm not gonna keep everybody on for me rerouting the wire through the little hole. <laughs> in here and uh pushing it up and hooking it up so i'm gonna fight with that i i gotta come from this side and and push it through and have a bunch of fun with it so i'm gonna leave you leave you alone leave you at that I'll, and that's it and then after that I'll, I'll do a final final wrap up and that should conclude this series of bicycle stuff for now anyway bye